The Community Involvement Campaign of Morristown Utility Systems and FiberNet brings you this month's Hamblin County School System Spotlight. And this month the school we're spotlighting is West Elementary and I'm here with Principal Krista Crum. And Krista, we're talking, I want to say this right off the bat, we're talking about the history of West Elementary. Touch on that just a little bit. Okay. We um, used to be West High School and it was late 50s I think, but it changed over into an elementary school and it has been very uh, interesting to find out some of our history that I, I'm learning about every day. So Now Mrs. Crum was telling me that they're doing some research on that and we're going to actually do a special segment on that down the road so stay tuned for that. Tell us the special unique uh, aspects of West Elementary. West Elementary is such a wonderful school. It has 450 to 60 children, depending on who moves and, and who comes in. But we have a wonderful staff, a very diverse population. We have around 135 students that are English as a second language uh, students. And we, we just love our kids here and we're so glad you came to visit us today. Now the fifth graders from West Elementary go into Lincoln Heights Middle, right? Yes. We are a feeder school for Lincoln Heights Middle School. And then on to West High School. Yes. And uh, what do you do to get the fifth graders ready for sixth grade? Because I had a fifth grader here last year and she's doing great in sixth grade so uh, you're doing something right. Well my own children came through West Elementary as well and we we just really work hard on uh, preparing them for middle school by uh, organization of their subjects and trying to get them switching classes just a little bit and, and just ease into that middle school feeling. Technology is um, utilized a great deal in West Elementary. We have smart boards in every classroom. Elmo's, which are fancy overhead projectors, uh, you can lay a book down and it'll show it on the wall. Anywhere you are in the room, you can see what's uh, projected up on the screen. And our teachers all have projectors and iPads and we have a classroom set of iPads that would be portable. We are expanding our computer labs for next year, and we hope to get what's called CALS, which is Computers on Wheels, so we can prepare and do some more technology classes and prepare for those uh, test items that will be online, according to what we're hearing, in 2014. That's fantastic. Now, I know, having had some students here that are, are my children, that the PTO is very involved here at the school extremely involved. We love our PTO. They have done so much. Um, they, this year alone, they have raised money for, uh, we're going to purchase new stage curtains. They have updated our teacher planning with a new refrigerator. Uh, they have spent a lot of money and raised a lot of money to help our students uh, have rewards for reading uh, achievements and uh, for our walkathon, they're raising money to increase our beautification of the school. So, along with the murals and things that we're going to do, they're helping. Knoxville TVA Credit Union is painting numbers on our rooms. The, um, we have had Color Tech Incorporated donate money for beautification. We're going to purchase a new sign with that. We've had uh, so many good partnerships we've made this year alone, and I'm just so excited to have them in our schools. Now, I understand the students are going to do a little dance for us. What's that all about? Yes, that's part of the Flash Mob, and it, it is part of Michelle Obama's initiative to increase physical activity in the schools. So I hope you enjoy it. They've been practicing, and they're ready to go. Thank you so much for visiting with us, and you have a wonderful school. You're doing a fantastic job, and we appreciate you here in Hamblin County. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. And thanks for watching Morristown TV today. <laughs>